How's it going guys and welcome to SHOT Show 2020. We are at the SE booth here with Patrick. How's it going? Going great. Good man. And uh, we're going to be looking at some new SE knives and also some exciting updates on some existing SE knives. So let's jump into some of this new stuff. Okay, one of the first things we're really excited about, we're doing a fixed blade version of our Zancudo folder. This is S35B. It's available with a hole in the handle or without, that's to lighten the, the weight, overall weight of it some. It could also be an attachment point if you needed to tether it with dummy cord or something to yourself. Working on the side of a mountain or in a kayak, if you were to lose it, have it out and, and be using it and drop it, still have it attached to you. So it's available either way. So would you see that as a point to put a lanyard like through a belt loop or something, like a longer you, lanyard, something like that? You could have it cool. secured to your body in some way. Yeah. It's also big enough if you had like a carabiner, you could clip to it if you needed to. Okay. Also, we're releasing the SE3 and S35V. We've been having a lot of our uh, customers asking for us to start trying out more premium steel. So this is our, these are our first steps in that direction. That's pretty exciting. That SE3 is, for me, is just about the right size. It's just about a perfect size for almost anything you need to do around the camp not, and things of that not nature. Not too long, not too thick. It's great. Yeah, so cool to see it in kind of a, a more premium powder coated steel yep. there, or a powdered steel. Um, and then now we got kind of a, a big boy here. Yep, um, <laughs> this is newest in the uh, expat line. This is the Darien Machete. I've had a chance to play around with it, uh, with the prototype, and I really love it. Got a real good feel to it. You can get a lot of uh, wrist action. So we're excited about that coming out. And what's the uh, finish here that you have on the blade? That's like, similar to our black oxide, just you know, to give it a little bit of a color to it. Cool. Now in the, you know, you guys, you guys are based Primarily out of the south, you guys obviously you go down to South America and that's yes. up as well a lot. So machetes are probably really useful. I find in the Western United States, I haven't used these often. Yeah. Right. Uh, down where we're at, we do a lot of classes stateside and down in the Amazon. And um, when you get into briars, thick brush stuff like that, you know, I wouldn't want to do a whole lot of uh, you know firewood processing. You could, but for clearing brush, getting through uh, you know briars, et cetera, it's great. Can't yeah. be beat. Kind of trailblazing. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. And I remember a while back I learned that you don't want to you don't want to hard grip a machete when you're swinging it, right? You want to get get the pinch grip, right? A little, a little bit of a wrist action pinch grip. You know, you're not like it's not like you're swinging a hammer. Yeah, yeah. 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 I always swung it as a hammer when I was a kid. <laughs> I had a clear. Uh, it was about three acres of weeds at my grandma's house oh, with man. a machete. Dad said it built character. <laughs> it, it does. <laughs> and calluses. <laughs> and calluses. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, all right, and then uh, kind of jumping into, you know, existing line, but kind of a new exciting update on some handle stuff. Yeah, just kind of a different twist on, uh, you know, we've been asked a lot about thicker, more contoured scales. You know, our standard line had the thin, flat scales. Um, and then people were just, you know, asking if we ever thought about doing some like 3D scales. And so this is what we came up with. We've got G10 on some of them, different color combinations. That yeah, people and it's, are uh, really, really uh, excited about. Yeah, a real cool laminated G10, right? So as you guys form them, you get these neat mm -hmm. patterns in there. And if you guys have ever handled an S, you can see that contour there. You do. You got a little bit more uh, for the hand, and then uh, you know, no edge. Your, your scales before didn't really have an edge to them, but they had a bit of a shelf to them. Yeah, I guess you could call it. Kind of a yeah. So no shelf there, right? So fills up the hand really nicely, but mm -hmm. then still feels really nice and secure as well. And some of them are in uh, canvas micarta. So this is the five. We just got that. A little bit more palm swell to it than our standard five. And that's in my cart as well. Uh, yeah. Cool. So we're really excited about that. We've been showing them here at the show and, and people have, uh, they've been very well received. People cool. are excited about it. So cool. Yeah, no, that is too. really exciting. And those are uh, only going to be available with, on the knife. They're, you know, they're, they're not available scales only at this time. Maybe in the future, that's something we might kick around and, and See what happens. Cool, cool. That's really exciting. All right, so you guys make a bunch of different knives for a bunch of different applications. Um, I know you personally, you're out in the bush a lot. Mm -hmm. So what you have on the table here? What's what's your favorite one here on the table? It might I'd be like picking your favorite child. But. I would have to say, you know, <laughs> besides the uh, the Darien Machete, I'm really yeah. excited to try out S35V. I've never played around with it. You know, we're known for 1095, and that, that's what most of my experience is in. Um, so being a, a harder steel, I'm just kind of curious to see how the how the edge holds up. You know, if we got better edge um, retention, and, and just see how you know just how it does, how it performs. Cool. That's great. And then we're asking everybody at SHOT Show what they have in their pocket today. You carrying something you can show off? 
Victorian Ox Outrider. <laughs> nice. Been around the block a few times. <laughs> I love it. That's I love it. it. That and a wallet. That's yeah. all I got. Yeah, you make it some incredible fixed blades, and then you carry around a little pocket tool as well. That's it. That's I'm, great, man. <laughs> I always have a backup. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much for having us. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. And thank you guys for following along. Make sure to check out our SHOT Show 2020 playlist here on YouTube, and keep an eye on SE. They've got some exciting stuff coming. We should have some stuff on the website real soon.